All right, here we are taking a look at an axle trade for Wednesday, June 29th, uh, 2011. Um, one of the first things, this is a daily chart of axle. One of the first things I noticed when I took out some of the, the noise, uh, the volume and, and the, uh, the RSI. RSI is uh, sky high on axle, like 97 or something like that. So, uh, you know, that's a, a short signal. At the end of the day today, we had, uh, 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 you know, some action, 29,000 shares going in at 11.05. And then I see a uh, price coming down 9,000. That's probably something that sold. I'm not quite sure. And then a couple of sellings up here of 11.10, 11.15. The volume is not that high. And then we have, uh, it looks like some purchasing going on here in the 11.34 and the 11.30 range. This is a little mind-bending to me because if we take a look at the chart that I'm going to bring up next, um, these, these numbers in, in through here uh, don't even exist on the pivot point chart that we plotted for tomorrow. Um, so I don't really know what's going on other than if uh, if these numbers are high uh, and we have uh, we shorted at these numbers um, we might yeah we might do well that might be a good trade let's take a look at some other things that we saw on this chart okay uh, another one of the things that we we saw uh, was um, isn't this the beginning or you know pretty much uh, a, a wonderful classic cup with the possible handle you know being formed here and and what happens with with you know we're not quite up this up here quite yet you know as far as finishing the cup but what what happens with with the handle is that you know you usually get this you know or, you know to form the handle and then you know this can happen um, or you can have a breakdown and you know it can go south from there you know it doesn't things only happen uh, always in the stock market uh, sometimes so uh, if we're going with the cup and the handle this this might be like a not not a bad place to think about shorting and again especially with um, looking at the big picture and things um, uh, that are happening uh, in Greece and whatnot um, so Again, this uh, was one of those things that, that, that caught my eye. Here's a cup with a handle, yeah. Very possible thing that this can go down along with everything else that's going on. We're under our 200, so we're not all that healthy anyway. Um, you know, a couple of short signals going on. And then it's like, well, this could go up though, right? And it's like, well, let's go back in history and see if you can, you know, find a, another um, such pattern of cup with handle and or whatever here's a little bit of one okay and then what did it do she tanked alright so that'll give you an indication of what's going on there this again is another beautiful um, ascending triangle isn't it isn't that a beautiful ascending triangle and then what did it do it went up today and the, the key is is this thing gonna continue to go up or is it gonna poop out and tank on us and um, I guess we're all asking that question let's take a look at what might have happened before and we've got this nice climb here followed by a hammer which is like at the top of a nice climb says you know this was an indicator that I'm coming down this over here is not a hammer alright but I would be cautious about going long on on Axel tomorrow, at least at uh, in in the eleven dollar and and thirty cent range. You know, eleven thirty four seems a little bit high. I think that's that's short territory for me. You know, and until tomorrow happens and the proof is in the pudding, because the market will be right tomorrow, and all that all my supposition could be uh, correct or uh, or I will be proved wrong but um, to me this looks like uh, a, if 
at, at this price that might be a, a, a shorting opportunity tomorrow now I've said short tomorrow a number of times so I hope I don't put that too much into my head but again if I'm looking at Axel on the daily chart with a couple of other things that I want to look at here's uh, here's the 9510 okay for the RSI that's a little on the high side and prices have been going up haven't they especially I mean this was kinda like a quasi doji day I would say here yesterday and you know today was an update but what what's been happening with our volume our volume has been decreasing whenever you have an upage in price and, an, and a decrease in volume it just you know uh, it's the Johnny Cochran Chewbacca defense it doesn't make sense you know so be aware of that and uh, you you might want to uh, think about um, gosh the, do I want to go long on this thing or not and again people are buying it in the aftermarket and our R3 is eleven dollars and twenty six cents folks and in the aftermarket we're buying it at uh, eleven thirty four so um, someone is going to do well tomorrow and someone is not and I don't know who that is going to be but uh, we'll be up early enough to, to try to grasp a handle on what exactly is, is going on and go with the flow. We'll go with the flow. We'll try to catch, capture, the, capture the flow and go with it. Okay. Um, recapping today, again, 1108 was our high. This thing has been coming up for a number of days. Um, I mean, let's count them, uh, you know, like from from what way back here now I guess you know we had an update a couple down days but let's go from say this one one two uh, this is a, uh, like but three you know I think we've got a good four or five days in here it just it just looks like it's it's time for this thing to get dicey especially we're reaching this Fibonacci line of um, resistance you're reaching this 50 day moving average line of resistance that's going to coincide with what I think the 11 and a quarter somewhere in there so maybe maybe we're we're about right on that there uh, if we did short this thing I would probably want to want to buy the cover you know a little bit before this line here uh, this one here is probably uh, coming in somewhere oh right smacked in here on our on our pivot point chart line you know between the 1099 and the 1096 so maybe 1093 you know our low of today might be a good place to you know to buy to cover tomorrow depending on how how uh, much momentum this this thing has uh, in uh, in coming down so I'm kind of like talking myself into it. yes this thing is gonna come down tomorrow it can't it went up 14 cents so if I went into it today with it with a short mood I would have been handed my head right yeah um, the the spider again though did go up nicely today so this this did follow the spider uh, another stock that we were looking at um, Ariad followed the spider that that went up nicely um, Nvidia uh, followed the spider for part of the day and then decided that it wanted to go south and and um, stayed with its downward trend and 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 did go south uh, came up a little bit at the end of the day but since we're looking at Axel right now um, we're, we're gonna be looking at the the, the three stocks tomorrow Axel, Ariad and uh, Nvidia and we'll try to figure out uh, what direction one of them is going and if we can um, if it meets our parameters uh, we'll go in with with the trade I would say that uh, uh, a parameter for shorting axle would be about what what is trading on the overnight right now uh, the 1134 um, perhaps uh, a little bit higher if, if it opens uh, tomorrow at the at anywhere near this uh, we want to get a, a confirmation that that might be the top so it could go up another little bit um, it could fool everybody and just keep on going for the rest of the day 
but at, at at this point in here, we'll we'll definitely be uh, considering shorting. Um, that's about it. I, I don't I don't think I'm in a in a in a real go long tomorrow mood on either uh, Ariad Axel or um, Nvidia. Uh, however, if there is an opportunity on a scalping trade. Uh, that I see I might take it uh, like I did the other day just the the recap on the on our trade the other day and you might just say hey you know had you uh, uh, planned that one a little bit better and not impulsed into that scout play you probably could have shorted it at a, at a higher figure and then wrote it down the rest of the day and then I would have to say you know you're right on that a hundred percent so uh, this is what we're looking at and Whatever you all decide to do out there, again, we're, we want to thank uh, our chart people, um, free stock chart, free stock, free stock charts .com, Thank you, and uh, uh, we want to uh, uh, wish everybody, uh, you know, to keep green on their screen and uh, you know, good trading out there. And again, we're not we're not saying you know trade Axel, Nvidia, or anything. What we want to do is just show you what we are doing how we use pivot points, how we use Fibonacci's in our trades and um, we're actually you know promoting a book entitled Scalping the Cabal uh, which we're writing right now and if we don't get scalped ourselves and we're successful then of course you'll you might want to read the book so um, when it becomes available and you've seen enough of these trades um, yeah we, we give you the good ones and the bad ones too I don't just like hide in the closet when I have a bad one so uh, you're going to get the whole ball of wax, and then you make up your own mind whether you think the the book might be worth worth reading or not, uh, whether for entertainment or to you know help you with an idea in in uh, your strategy. Okay, God bless everybody. Have a great day trading tomorrow.